Hi there, Miranda and John. Uh, this is Leon's video lesson for today. Um, I got three things that I want him to work on. Um, pinky push-ups, uh, thud notes, and then working on that steady beat for um, for Aunt Rhody. Um, I think he's also believe to starts Song of the Wind. Um, so obviously I haven't heard him play it, so I can't comment one way or the other about it. But um, feel free to shoot a video over if you want me to take a look at anything and uh, add my two cents to it. So cool, let's go down the list. Um, so first thing is pinky push-up. We've been working on this for the last uh, while. Um, the trick is to go slow. You don't want him to go up, down, up, down. Okay, now I'm done. Um, maybe you can do, we can call it like sloth, like sloth push-ups or something like that. Or maybe he can pick out like a really slow animal and he can pretend his fingers like a really slow snake or something like that, I don't know. Um, but you can use sloth fingers, sounds good enough to me. Um, you can do these away from the guitar. Um, so if your eyes are on a trip right now, um, which I think you are, you can do these um, while you're sitting around the campfire. Uh, so what you can do is just put your thumb and your ring fin thumb uh, with your uh, ring finger in your in your pinky, and just slowly raise it up to where the nail kind of meets the fi uh, meets the flesh, right about there. You know, maybe first tip joint if if um, he's getting used to it. But I think he's doing it for a while. See if he can really slow, like a sloth. Bring it up there and bring it straight back down again. Sloth up. And the sloth goes back down the branch, something like that, maybe, I don't know. Um, so to first shift joint, and then the other thing I want you to do, so when you get to a guitar, if you took his guitar with him, what you can do is keep that ring finger right on the D. Later on, what we'll do when we when he's comfortable doing the pinky up and down and keeping that ring finger there is we're actually going to play, I say play down up, so play, so the finger will be up, play, down, up, and what you want, you want that D to ring through. Um, I don't think we're quite there yet, um, but um, but we're getting there. Um, what I want you to do is just have him put his ring finger on there, nice nice tunnel finger, and we're gonna raise the pinky up real slow. And if he lifts off, if he lifts pressure off the, the third finger, that's fine for right now. Well, we'll have him, that, the idea now is just getting him used to like, these. this finger's stationary, and this is doing something right here. So lift up. And then straight back down. Lift up, and like I said, it's okay if this one's not pressing down quite yet. But the idea is that you don't want it to flatten out like this, right? You're gonna keep those fingers like tunnels right here. Up, and then back down. Like I said, the idea is just to do it slow. Um, so have him be a sloth, or like I said, or another slow animal that he can think of, and uh, make his finger like that. Um, cool, so work on that for me. Next are thud notes. Uh, I think we were talking before before about like when he wants to play loud, he like kind of pushes and pulls down the string, trying to lighten up that touch a little bit. So you're not pushing so hard. So just have him bring his finger up to say the note A, right? And we're gonna play a thud. We're only just literally, we're just gonna touch the string. We're not gonna push at all. We're just gonna touch the string with our finger real light. Or maybe you can use a, something more like a visualization for him, maybe like light as a feather or on your, or on your tippy toes maybe. Uh, might be a good way to frame it for him. So you bring that finger up and be real light on your toes, be like light as a feather, like touch the string like a feather. And then see if you can get him to do a really loud thud. Bring the hand up. Light as a feather, real loud. So do that this week too. Um, next is, uh, and then, oh, and before I move on from that one, you can do the thud notes um, with every finger. I would start maybe with the middle finger, I find what might be the easiest. And then I would do the ring finger and then the pointer finger. Not yet with the pinky though. Let's, let's uh, one hard thing with the pinky at a time. So do it with. do those studs like that. And then lastly is a steady Aunt Rhody. Um, so I know he kind of speeds up and slows down a bit. That's totally normal at his age. Um, you know, he's not a metronome yet. He will be. Um, metronome work isn't until like, you know, a later book. Uh, so don't, don't get, don't have him get, be discouraged that, uh, that his beat isn't steady or that don't you, don't you get discouraged his beat isn't steady yet. It will, it will be. Um, so what I want you to do though is identify spots where it's consistently not consistent rhythm. So, so go in there and like actually literally on your paper like mark out. What my teacher used to do is you put brackets 
around like the note right before and the note like right after there was a, there was like a, an issue in there. So you're not practicing like the whole first line of Aunt Rody um, because if you only have if you only have his attention for like maybe three or four or five minutes, every repetition counts at his age. So put a bracket around those, the, uh, the the notes where he's he's fine and then the other note he's fine and find that mistake spot. And then what you, what I would do is get like a couple like rhythm sticks or you get something to, to tap on and see if you can tap a steady beat and see if you can keep him going through that trouble spot. Um, a lot of times it's like, if, I'm not sure if it's him or not, but other kids though, it'll be when they switch between three and one, like they're they're moving too much. That happens sometimes. But uh, what I would do is, is frame out those spots where he's having trouble keeping the beat steady and then have him just play those spots. Um, if he has trouble starting in a, like a weird spot where he's not used to starting, that's uh, that's that's a good thing for us to work on then, because we don't want him to be playing and make a mistake and then have him go all the way back to the beginning of the uh, to a, like a safe spot and then continue on. Um, you want him to be able to pretty much play from any any spot in the in the song. Um, so say in um, say if. Uh, That could be a trouble spot right there. So if this is, so start from, so, and then, so, and so, so this is hard. Start from that note right before. sing while he does that d g g c b b and um and then you can also tap the sticks as well while he while he plays that keeping it steady all right i want you to work on that oh and then there's a uh, there's a fun little halloween thing that we can do um i'll give you a preview it's um el diablo twinkle um hang on one second hey fitz do you know diablo twinkle can you play for me? <laughs> I'll put you on the spot, though. <laughs> I'm on a video lesson right now with my student, Leon. He, he, it's a pre-recorded lesson, so he's not live right now. But he, I'm going to show him Diablo Twinkle. It'd be kind of fun if he if he showed off a little bit. Uh, come here, buddy. This is my student, Fitz. Fitz, you want to come say hi? Hi. There we go. That's Leon. He, Leon is six years old, too. So he, he can't see you right now because I'm just recording this so that way he can have something to practice later. And here, let me get you a guess. If you, make, if, if you don't remember the whole thing, that's okay. I, I know I'm just asking you on the, on the spot. I, I need a... I, oh, you need a gas pedal? Let me get you a gas pedal. How you doing? Good. All right, so this is Diablo Twinkle. And Fitz, how, how, can you want to tell Leon how you play Diablo Twinkle? Every note has to be one fret up. Right, so instead of starting your ring man on the on the note D, you, you move gotta, you move it up to this this Yeah, one higher, one higher. So instead of being on the third fret, you're on the fourth <laughs> fret. And then what you do is all the open strings are still gonna be open though. Right? <laughs> <laughs> do you wanna play with me or do you wanna play by yourself? <laughs> uh, then, oh, you're good. That one right there. There you go. And that's how you play Diablo Twinkle. So we'll do that next time. Uh, so I'm going to give a little preview. I'll tell my whole story about the pirates in the cave. Bye. All right, that's your video lesson for today. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message back, and we will uh, uh, do my best. I'll do my best to answer. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.